spiritually, I had just ran into the end. I, I had no fight left in me. There was nothing left. I, I had to get help. My name is Riley Richards. I farm near Yellowgrass. It's just a tight community, and that's what's the best part about growing up in rural Saskatchewan. I started drinking when I was in my mid-teens, and it was kind of culturally just something we all did together. Many times through my 20s, I knew I kind of had a problem. I couldn't really control how much I was drinking anymore. My mental health definitely deteriorated over the years. Anxiety was starting to be a big, big player in what was going on. As I spent time on my own, depression was starting to really sink in and I was starting to become numb and really losing the ability to really feel what was going on in my life. When I made the decision to quit drinking, I had the conversation with my wife that I need to get help. I, I can't do this on my own anymore. And it wasn't the first time we'd had the conversation, but this time I really was at my rock bottom. I, I needed to get help. How's it going? Hey buddy, how are you doing? Good, good to see you. awesome, good, good to see, to see you. you. Long time. My connection with Rod came from actually him putting his story out on social media. He was a small town guy, grew up in a small town life living the same life I did. And his story connected with me. Well, if he can get sober, how did he do this? I need to reach out. Early on talking to you was, was, a, was the first step in realizing that you can live a normal life and you can still do everything you did before. It's just, you have to do it in a different way. And there was so much acceptance out there and encouragement. And a lot of the times the encouragement was, we're so glad you did this. We were wishing you had for a long time. So what did you find? Because we call them the tools, right? The yep. tools of recovery. What, what works for you? Really slowing everything down. That, that one day at a time for me is, is huge. Is the minute I look too far ahead is the minute that I'm, I'm already thinking about things I can't control. What's the hardest thing in recovery? Reaching out for help and admitting you have a The problem. start. The start. The start, yeah. the start is the hardest thing. It's, it's the biggest mountain you'll climb is actually admitting and to another person that you have a problem and reaching out to another person to get help. The best part of the recovery process for me, my kids are at a young age where they're having a lot of experiences and I actually get to enjoy that now with my wife. I'm present for everything that they do. I'm involved in their kids' sports. I'm involved in spending time with them and I'm here and that's what really matters and I'm not missing out on them growing up because I was missing out before. There is always hope. You can always get better. There is always a way. If you are ready to get help, reach out to saskatchewan.ca slash mental health awareness.